Hello everybody, this is Heike from Horse World Connect. Earlier I spoke with Lola Michelin about her massage school. It's called the Northwest School of Animal Massage and you can go to her listing and follow up on that interview. But in this interview I wanted to learn about her retirement and rehabilitation for Equine's Farm. So here's what she had to say. About five years ago, the school actually relocated to a campus on Vashon Island, and um, we have a 12 and a half acre facility there. And um, it gave me the opportunity to transition from working primarily with sport horses and show horses in their prime to providing a place where they could come for their retirement or for rehabilitation. So, uh, so now uh, the horses at our facility. Um, are either there short term as they recover from injury or illness, or they're there uh, to just live out the remainder of their life. And it's been um, really fulfilling to see that, to be involved in that part of their life where many of um, their owners were, you know, had the horses during their competitive years. And now, either because they don't have access to land and the horses retired, they um, send the horses to us and we care for them, and, and then as part of their retirement, they get to be models for the massage classes and the acupressure classes and the equitaping classes and manual ligament therapy classes, so they get a lot of uh, therapeutic attention, and mm -hmm. um, it's been great to be able to to learn so much about how to manage them nutritionally and physically and just making sure that their life is still fulfilling for them even if they're not working. Um, per se, we try to give them activities appropriate to their condition and oh, nice. um, also, you know, take care of them as best as we can. Mm -hmm. So how many horses can you take in? How many spots do you have? Um, Not just for retirement, have, I, guess it's, yeah. I guess for retirement we, and rehab. Yeah, we have room for 15 horses and currently we have um, seven horses there uh, in retirement. And so we like to keep, you know, three to five spaces available for rehabilitation cases. Uh, I also have, of course, my own, um, my riding horse and my husband's riding horse are, are at the farm as well. And then we have um, three miniature horses from Best Friends Animal Sanctuary that were, that we adopted. They all have special needs. Um, one's blind and uh, the other two have had leg injuries that um, they're recovering, not recovering from, but that they're um, we'll have permanent deficit from. So we, we have that little population right now as well. We have a few goats and um, we have a miniature donkey and they kind of serve as babysitters for some of the older horses too. So if we have a horse who can't be with other horses because of their physical condition, we like to give them a, a buddy um, in the form of a goat or, or the miniature donkey. So, so yeah, right now we have 12 um, horses uh, on the property. And we tend to run between 8 and 15 at any given time. Nice. Excellent. Anything that you'd like um, people to know about Poxia Farm that we haven't discussed yet, we haven't talked about? Yeah, well, if, if they're interested, they can learn more about uh, Paxia Farm at our website. At, um, it kind of gives them a chance to see who the... Um, who some of the residents are and what we're up to on the facility in general. But I do think it's just, uh, it's nice to be able to provide a place for horses in, the, in those later years where, you know, sometimes when they have fulfilled their, um, I, I hate to use the term useful career, but that's a lot of times how people term it is like, you know, well, they can't be ridden anymore. They still need to be cared for, but not everybody has access to those types of facilities. So I like to tell my clients when they purchase a horse or when they um, are, you know, investing in a horse, what are you going to do in their later years? Are there, is there a plan for them when you can no longer use them for showing or trail riding or whatever? And um, maybe just kind of gives them an idea that there are options for them in their later years. And mm -hmm. uh so we're, we're thrilled to be able to provide that. So um, do you get horses just from the Washington State area, or do they come to you from all over the United States? Um, we, we, have, we have horses from outside of the state as well. I work with a number of um, 
veterinarian clinics that um, some of them are uh, out of state, one in Oregon, one in California, one in Canada. So sometimes a horse will come for rehab from um, mm-hmm. outside of Washington. Um, we have a couple retirees. The majority of them are basically from my either my previous clientele uh, or um, people that find out about me through uh, my clientele. So um, Pacific Northwest is is primarily where the horses are coming from. Um, mm-hmm. We, like I said, we do have the three horses there from Utah, from Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. So depending on the horse's needs and their ability to travel, we certainly are open to taking horses from other parts of the country. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Very good. Well, this has been very um, educational for me also. It's always Excellent. nice to hear about you know businesses, horse-related businesses out there. And that's one of the things that I love about Horse World Connect, that I get to actually connect with people one-on-one. And I'm hoping that um, anybody who's listening and who's intrigued in any way will reach out to you um, and ask you questions directly or go to your website and find out about you a little bit more. So again, thank you so much for this interview, and I'm sure that we will stay in touch. And yeah, um, yeah. I look forward to the relationship, and I'm really excited about um, introducing our graduates to to your services as well. I think that's going to be a great opportunity. (laughs) Excellent. Thank you.